Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video here at Evo Gimbals. Today, we are going to unbox the Rage S. This thing is amazing. The box itself is amazing. Look at these great graphics on here. This thing is outstanding, the quality of this. Ooh, we've got a little strap. We've got a little EVA case. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Got a nice sturdy zipper, nice little structure on the outside. And then inside we've got a beautiful instruction manual. You should read this. I recommend reading this. You should definitely read this. Also, there's some instructions in there on how to register this for your warranty. If you look inside, this thing is really well put together and very simple. So you've got your gimbal, you've got your extension tube, a couple batteries. And these batteries will last 10 hours in this gimbal if you're using it normally. If you have too big of a camera, if you're way off balance, obviously it's not gonna last as long, but if you are balanced and you're using it correctly, you can get 10 hours out of that battery pack. Battery charger, USB cord, pretty self-explanatory on how everything works and what it's for, but this works with this. These work with these two things, and then you need one of these. I'll show you how it works. Here we go. The first thing out of the box, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and charge your batteries. It's very simple. You have a USB cord and you've got your charger. You just plug your USB cord into your computer or into the wall. You put your batteries in the charger. When the lights are red, that means they're charging. And when the lights turn blue or green, that means that they're fully charged and ready to go. Okay, when you're putting the batteries in, you want to make sure that you put them in like a flashlight. So the bump side goes in first and the flat side goes in last. So we'll go ahead and put both of these in and we'll put the extension handle on. I don't want you to ever turn on your gimbal until you've got your camera on it and it's balanced. And one of the nice things about this extension handle is that it has a quarter 20 screw on the bottom here so you could use some carbon fiber extension poles or you could mount this to a tripod or a monopod so for the sake of this video i'm going to go ahead and put this on one of our smaller tripods that we have available on our website and these are great just for this type of stuff for balancing your gimbal that kind of thing this is another really cool thing that we did is we put a quarter 20 screw hole right here on the bottom of the gimbal that really doesn't do anything except for hold this so you don't lose it. I lose these, lose these things all the time. So one of the cool things also is that we have this little adjustable plate. So we're able to slide this whole plate this way. Your camera can slide this way back and forth. If you do this quick, quick release, just loosen that up, you'll see this whole plate will slide back and forth right here so you can get your camera balanced just perfectly. So today for this purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and use our RX100 and we'll mount that on here. And we are mounting these things. You wanna make sure that your motor is always on the right hand side and we're gonna go ahead and balance it. I've got a really good video on how to balance these things um, available on our website. So feel free to check that out. Okay, so we've got it balanced. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the power button. I'm gonna hold it for just a couple seconds. You'll see that yellow light flash when it turns solid, you let go and it's gonna power up the motors. The blue light is your battery indicator. So four flashes means that it's 100%, three means that it's 75, two means it's 50, and one means that it's at 25%, you need to recharge your battery. It's gonna default into the pan follow mode. So as I'm panning, it's following, but as I'm tilting the gimbal, it's not gonna move the camera. It's gonna keep it nice and flat and level. So if we go ahead and we click the mode button, which is on this side, we push that twice, what it's gonna do is put it into a pan tilt follow mode. So as I tilt it, it's gonna tilt the camera. And as I pan it, it's gonna pan and tilt. So this is really cool. If you need to go upside down, you can flip it around like this and you can go into the upside down mode. 
This is really nice to get some really low shots. Sorry about the tripod. These things are cool because you can fold them up like that when you're shooting. So you can go ahead and do that. And then in the, the mode button, if you click that one more time, it's gonna put you back into that default mode. So now it's gonna keep your horizon nice and flat. It's not gonna follow, it's only gonna do the pan. To get back out of that, you just push the mode button twice going to get you back into the pan and tilt mode. So again, as I'm tilting and as I'm panning, it's following. To go back into the mode one, you just click the mode button one time. And now we are back in the default mode. If you're walking through a door a hundred yards away, which is ridiculous, you probably never do that. But if you aim the camera right at where you're going to be pointing, you can push the mode button from the default mode only. This will work push the mode button one time and you'll see that it's going to put it into a lock mode. So now as I'm walking or doing whatever it is I'm doing, if I'm moving around, it's going to eliminate any of that side to side movement that might come from my wrist moving or if I'm walking around objects, it's going to keep that heading, which is really nice. And then if I go ahead and I hit the mode button one more time, it's going to take it back out of that, go back to the default mode. So my favorite mode is when you are in this default mode and you click the button three times. What it's going to do is allow you to do some selfie action. Pretty cool. It's called the turnaround mode. So it is actually pretty helpful if you've got it up on a tripod or something and you're trying to operate the whole camera remotely. You could actually flip it around and get a different shot, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and flip it back around by clicking it three times again. And now we're back into the default mode. Um, let's go through the functions of the joystick really quickly in each mode. So we are right now we're in the pan follow mode. So you can see that is the camera as I'm moving is not moving. So the joystick is going to move up and down, is going to operate the tilt. Left and right is not gonna do anything in this mode. If you go into the lock mode, so if I go ahead and I click from this mode, if I click the mode button once, and now we're in the lock mode, I have full function of the left and the right pan, and then I've got the tilt down and the tilt up with this setup. If I go back into the pan follow mode, you can see that now I don't have that function anymore. From mode two, if I click the button twice, you can see now it's moving this way. I can go inverted. And here, from the inverted mode, I can actually go in and I can click this button one time. So if I click the mode button again, it's gonna put me back into my pan follow mode, only I'm inverted. So now it's gonna stay this way as long as I've got it in that mode. If I go ahead and click that twice, it's gonna get me back into the pan tilt follow mode and we're able to flip it back over. You can see that the joystick is not gonna do anything if I push it up or down. But if I move it left and right, it's gonna go ahead and tilt the camera left and right. So this is a really good way if you've got a Dutch angle shot that you wanna get or something, you can move the joystick and just use the Use that to get creative, I guess you could say. And I just want to talk about accessories really quick for this. Um, one of the things I think everybody should have is this Bluetooth remote that we've got. And this allows you to have all of the functions of the gimbal, all of the buttons and everything right here at your fingertips. The remote itself is very small and it is very compact and it has a ton of features in it to operate your gimbal. Now we do have an app that will do the same thing. So you could actually operate the whole thing through your app on your phone. If you wanted to do that, that's another way to go. Um, the other really cool accessory that we're getting into here is the CCI cable. So you plug one end into the gimbal, one end into your camera. Now the, we have these for the Sony cameras and for the Lumix cameras. If you have this plugged in and you hit the power button once, it's going to take a photo. If you hit the power button twice, it will start the record, record mode on the camera. If you hit it again twice, it's gonna stop the record mode on the camera. So this is really, really nice. You can operate a lot of the features of your camera right from the handle of the gimbal. So 
this is something else I think that you should look at. I'll put a link to it on our website here so you can go check that out. And the other thing is the carbon fiber extension poles. These things are really nice. Gets you a little bit of extension. It comes with a set of two and uh, I highly recommend these. It's really amazing what you can get with these. And also if you do have your gimbal at the end of this and you're holding the end of the carbon fiber pole as you're walking because there's so much weight on the front of it with the gimbal, it actually acts like a shock absorber. So it takes a lot of the movement that comes from walking out because you're kind of holding this weight up and your wrist is acting like a shock absorber. So this is really cool. Another great thing just to be able to get crane shots and that kind of stuff. Highly recommend. Check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to the accessory page on our website. So you can check out all of the fun stuff that we've got. And I hope I answered a lot of your questions. The one thing I'm gonna talk about is the cameras. The cameras that we have that will work on the Rage S, there is a laundry list of them. So we're gonna to try to make a list of them. The one guideline when you're looking to see which gimbal you wanna buy with us is check the weight. This will go from about 160 grams to 650 grams. So anything over 650 grams is just gonna to be too heavy. There's sort of a sweet spot in the middle there that you wanna stay. If you're gonna get into the bigger cameras like the GH4, GH5s, the Sony uh, A7S, A7S II, those ones, if you're gonna use those with some bigger lenses, just get the Rage. The Rage is gonna, it's a little bigger, it'll handle that a lot better, so. That's the Rage S. I hope I answered your questions. Have a good day. See you on the next video.
So the accessories that we have for this are the Bluetooth remote, and we also have this wire that will go from the gimbal to your camera, and it will allow you with this toggle switch to zoom in and zoom out as long as your camera has a zoom lens. So this is a really cool feature. This is a must have in my opinion, just because you can operate all of the functions that you can't that you have here in your gimbal right off of this remote everybody should have this with the rage or the rage s we also have an app for your phone you can do the same thing i think this is for the price you really can't not have one so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope i answered a lot of your questions um if you have any questions feel free to give us a call um the camera itself again there's so many different ones. We, we are going to have a list on the website of as many as we can put together. If you do have questions about your camera, you can ask us and we'll do our very best to let you know which one is going to fit with which one of our gimbals. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.